This weekend, I'm not working on a new project. I'm working on something that is broken. So it seems like I'm always going a step back after taking two steps forward. So uh, this lawnmower I have here, kind of the, the utility tractor I've got for the orchard, um, working around the property, uh, was working with it in the orchard and uh, was sitting at idle. It was running while I was uh, working by one of the trees. And uh, when, it was, when I was doing that, I heard a loud bang, lots of smoke, a lot of weird screeching noises. So uh, I ran over and turned it off and uh, it wouldn't start up again or roll really. It was kind of stuck. So ended up um, hooking the truck to it, dragging it back over here to the barn. And uh, now I'm trying to get into it, see what I can do to fix it. Um, found out what the issue is, but I um, want to bring you along for this, this episode. Uh, I'm going to be working on a project that I need to do versus one that I want to do. Okay, so the first thing I did was just to make sure that the motor itself didn't seize up, and it hasn't. It's uh, It turns over pretty good. Um, you know, it's got some uh, movement to it, so it hasn't seized completely for sure. So I got, I got that going for me. And so then the next thing I was looking at, well, maybe the, the drive belt got caught on something. So I'm going to take you underneath here, see if I can show you the drive belt itself. See, it looks like it's all torn up. And when you go to the back, let's see if I can get the light on it. Right there is a stick that got caught up in there. So it looks like the stick got pulled up into the, the drive belt pulleys there and just um, bound it up. And the engine was still spinning. And so it just uh, ate up the, the belt. So we're going to be replacing this belt. Okay, so I've got the uh, little bit parts of it taken apart. Uh, I've got the battery um, removed and the battery tray. If you can see it here, it's just a tray that slides in there. And I'm going to get the flashlight in here. You can see that. <laughs> get a little bit. Right here is a stick. Shouldn't be there. It actually looks like it broke. May have broken one of the fins. On that, and then the uh, the middle here I took the middle piece off, and uh, you can see the, the belt going through there. And right here is the stick. So this little stick is going to cost me some money to replace this belt in probably an hour or two, I guess. Um, so I'm going to figure out how to take this belt off, and then. Uh, measure it to see if I can buy a new one. Okay, we're back and you can see all the tools that I used to take this thing off. Finally got the belt off and you can see how ragged it is actually. It looks... What I did to get it off was, uh, you know, I took the rear fan off here. We'll go here first. I took the fan off here. It's just three bolts. It unbolts from that pulley down there just so I can get some, you know, hand space in there. Then came to the middle here and took this idler pulley off. It was a, um, I believe it's a 9 16th wrench, just, you know, one on top and bottom, loosened it up. And then when you come under the front, under this drive pulley, the problem I had was this, these tabs here that he held it onto the pulley as it's going. Um, so, you know, it wouldn't come out. So I decided, well, let's take this drive pulley off. This whole thing, well, I took the bolt out from under here and this thing won't move. You know, it's been on here for, I'm thinking, 30 years. So I don't have a puller, you know, a pulley puller. So I, I just was trying to beat on it and wiggle it out and try to get some vibration up here and it didn't work. So then I was thinking maybe I should bend these tabs. Well, I didn't want to break them off. So what I ended up doing was coming under here. There's four bolts here. One here, one there, and ended up just taking the engine off, uh, unbolting the engine and sliding it back. He had to unbolt the uh, the exhaust here as well, but it was able to slide back enough to where I could get the pulley around those tabs. You can see it actually made a, a bigger gap there. So what I'm going to do is when I get the new pulley, put it back on, or put the, the new belt, put it back on and slide the engine back forward to bolt it in. So... Uh, I thought that was easier than having to go get a, you know, a pulley puller and, and get this thing off. So we'll just uh, slide the engine back. So now that it's off, I got to go get a new one. 
and uh, I've been trying to find it online, and it's uh, a little over 75 inches long when you measure the length of it. And I think it's just because it's stretched and, you know, tore up that it's probably actually supposed to be 75 inches. So anyway, I'm going to head to the store and get a new one, and we'll uh, put that one back in. Okay, well, I got the new belt on. Um, sorry I didn't bring you along for that. It's kind of hard to see up in here and hold this and work on it. So basically, first thing I did was put it in this pulley here. Um, you know, took the pulley off with that 9 16 and then wrapped the, the belt around the, the back side here first because it's uh, right up against this little guide here. So put that in there first, then went underneath here and wrapped it around the drive pulley from the engine and then slid the engine forward and bolted it in place, kind of, you know, snug tight. So then the engine and drive pulley are set. And then you have that next one in the back. And then I took the tensioner, the spring just unhooks. So I unhooked the spring for the tensioner. So it is um, fully open right now. And it needed to be to get that uh, enough tension on it or to get enough slack in the, um, belt i'll hook that uh, that spring back up but it needs to be completely open to have enough slack so once you get it on the right the correct side of that idler pulley you get it on this back pulley and you get it started and it goes to here and then it can go around this bolt and back and it's too tight to like really pull over on yourself um just um i tried to turn this pulley with this nut and i ended up just unscrewing that nut so I couldn't really turn this pulley to get that uh, to get that belt to just kind of work its way around. So what I did was I get it I get it this far, and then go across this bolt, and then I went up under the pulley up under the engine and just started cranking on that bolt because if you crank it tighter, it'll start turning the all the whole uh, belt. And so by cranking that tighter, it was wanting to kind of push on this belt, pull on this side. And it kind of walked the uh, walked this pulley around, and that belt kind of snapped into place. So right now it's extremely tight, uh, the brand new belt, and uh, I think that's that's all it is. I'm going to hook this uh, tensioner spring back up, and then um, let's give it a spin, see if she works. Okay, well after all of that, uh, I went to go start it, and the battery was dead, so. I had to take another step back and charge the battery. So let's try to see if it starts up now. Well, it it turns, but it's not turning over. Let's see if Okay, so thanks for sticking around for this video. I got the uh, drive belt put back together. You can see right here, I actually took that other idler pulley out. That uh, 75 inch belt is a little too tight, I think, when it straight comes from the store. So I was really having trouble turning over um, with this, the battery, we're just struggling. So I took that out and it looks like it uh, works out fine. So right now I'm gonna go burn this stick and <laughs> just because it took uh, this one little thing, Took a couple hours out of my Saturday. So anyway, appreciate you guys sticking around. If you would uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to this channel. Thanks.